Hello again everyone, the firmware update for the new Galaxy S24 series has not arrived yet and that is actually exactly why we are still doing this video here today because I want to address one question that everyone has. Is the new Galaxy S24 Ultra with the Corning Gorilla Glass armor and that anti-reflective property causing the screen to look dull? Well, that question is exactly what we are addressing today and it is also related to the software. Okay, this is going to be a quick video. I've been seeing many people saying that the new Galaxy S24 Ultra doesn't have good colors on the screen. And yes, I agree. If we compare it with just my Galaxy Z Fold 5 for example, we can clearly see a big difference in terms of its colors. We've seen many people on Twitter voicing out and immediately pointing out the new anti-reflective property on the Galaxy S24 Ultra's screen is the culprit. Well, actually no. I did some tests and found out the culprit is actually Samsung themselves. To be specific, it's this particular build number of the firmware. I am lucky enough to have all three phones within the Galaxy S24 series and also a color remitter. I also did the same color accuracy test on all devices that we reviewed for the past 2-3 years or so, something like that, and I have all the past data to compare it with. For ease of reference, I recompiled all of the data into this table here. Everything is tested in its default state, so when you open and boot up the phone for the first time, this is exactly what you should be getting. We can see that for the past few generations of the Galaxy S series, we had 100% of both sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, and the screen is super vivid. Now for this generation of the S24 series, it's still covering 100% of sRGB color gamut, but for the DCI-P3 color gamma coverage though, it's uh, a lackluster, I would say, as we're only getting somewhere around 86%. Now, I'm sure many of you will ask me if I'm doing this test using the Vivid color mode. And to that, I say, yes, I did. I double checked. I triple checked actually. And the reason why, as we mentioned earlier, is due to software, this version in particular. You see, changing between vivid and natural color modes doesn't actually yield any difference. I don't have to use the color meter to redo the test because I can immediately tell this is a software bug because on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and also the S21 Ultra that I'm still using, it does have an instant difference when I switch between the two modes. And no, it does not matter if I'm using Exynos or Snapdragon, this is a software issue. If you have any phones within the Galaxy S24 series, then I implore you to try this out. I'm not sure if Samsung is fixing this in an upcoming software update, but I sure hope they are aware of this issue. If for whatever reason you think that our camera settings isn't correct while filming this kind of demonstration, then uh, yeah, we have a color board for all of our YouTube videos for color accuracy and also color consistency. So yeah, I, I don't doubt this thing. We'll also be doing this test once more when the update arrives, so do stay tuned because I really hope Samsung will fix this issue in that firmware update. Yeah, the, the current color situation is kind of distracting because I do own other Samsung devices. For example, I'm daily driving the Z Fold 5, so when I look at the S24 series screens, it just kind of looks dull. It's not very Samsung-like. So yeah. It's a short video, do remember to subscribe, hit that like button, share this video, all of those stuff. If anyone says that the anti-reflective property on the S24 Ultra is the culprit for all of the dull colors, send them this video. Yeah, goodbye. We'll see you guys in the next video.